Hi friends, today in this demo we are going to see how the resource monitor uh, creation works manually, how the notification looks like when it reaches the threshold and how we can notify the account admin user as well as non-account admin user which was a long awaited feature which was recently released. So let's go on demo. So I am logged in into my uh, Snowflake account as an account admin. So I'm going to create a I'm going to create a service account, uh, basically a user, which is named as service account resource monitor, and the password is same. I'm going to alter and provide an email ID. So this is my non-admin user, basically, to give you a brief that I am creating a non-admin user, and I'm feeding an email ID to this. Now I'm going to connect to this user. And I will just check the preferences and then I will verify my email ID so that the email can come to my email ID. So I am logged in into this email ID. I have no notification at the moment. I'm just waiting for the login to happen. Okay, I think it will. I'm not sure it's taking time. Okay, meanwhile it is being logged in. We are going to create a warehouse. So I am just creating a large warehouse so that we will uh, reach the threshold uh, very quickly and with a multi cluster. So maybe I will just start with two. So I just created the uh, warehouse. Now I'm going to create a custom role which is resource monitor admin and I'm going to give the warehouse uh, operator and users to this role and then this role to my service account user. All right, I'm not sure what was the issue, but let me retry. Okay, meanwhile, it is being logged in. I'm also going to create a resource monitor. So I'm going to create a resource monitor with this name and giving the quota of one credit only so that we can quickly see the notification and i'm going to notify the user so i'm here i'm using multiple user one is my uh, non-admin user account and one is my admin user so here uh, in the notify user you don't have to provide any email address or anything you have to provide the user name basically when you do a show user let me show you show users and whatever you will see under the name section right so if you see what what is there on the name section that is the value which you have to provide over here within brackets so we have to make sure that this is within brackets and multiple values can be provided it's a comma delimited value okay and then the trigger i wanted to uh, suspend on 70 percent and 75 percent uh, do suspend and not uh, immediate means like uh, on 75 percent it will uh, suspend immediately and on 70 percent it will just uh, do the suspend means like it will close wait hold till all the process is complete which is currently running and then suspend on 75 percent it will stop the process and suspend immediately without looking whether it's completed or not and on 60 percent i'm just saying that notify me and then I am just doing the alter warehouse and assigning this resource monitor to this warehouse. Okay, so I am just going to create this resource monitor. What happened? Okay, because I am not yet to verify with my email ID, it is not allowing me to do that. So let me quickly go. Let me open the classic console. I think that's more handy with this. But anyways, I can do that as well. Profile. Resend the verification email and once I see the mail Okay, I haven't received any mail Okay, now I have received the mail and I will click on validate my email and now it's validated So once that is done, we'll just click like this. I will just do a refresh And then I will just go here and create the resource monitor again so now the resource monitor has been created because i have validated both the email IDs. for this this user i have already verified my email 
now one thing i wanted to showcase you here is like if i go on the profile and uh, under notification not not here sorry mm, just give me a moment let me connect here i don't see the similar options uh, with classic web ui all right so if i go here on the preference i don't see any option for the notification over here because by default when you uh, assign email id uh, so this is my email id for this account so you don't get any other option of notification so you can only get the in notification from the email id on the email id not on the uh, from the um, uh, menu from here like there is a notification icon over here so you don't see that uh, over here because that's not allowed so you will not get any notification from here but you will get notification for the email id but the similar thing when you come here you will see that notification icon over here and uh, for the admin user you will get the email id as well as for the over here so here you will see these are the old notification so let me just clear all the notifications so that you don't get confused so now i have my resource monitor created so let me just show you the resource monitor which i have just created so you can see that credit quota is one euro one was one credit sorry not one euro one credit used is nothing remaining is one the moment i will run the uh, queries to consume uh, the warehouse credit then you will see that the use credit will be one and credit quota which is one and remaining is zero and you can see other notification over here like the notify at 60 percent 70 percent 75 percent and notify to multiple user over here if i expand this then you will see that there are multiple users as you could tell okay so what i am going to do now is like i am going to create another resource monitor so i am going to go on account so i have shown you how to create using a uh, sql code now i'm going to go on account and show you how to create resource monitor using web ui so i'm going to go here i'm going to click on resource monitor and i can click on so let me just refresh this okay so it says like i already used uh, 0 0.6 here let me create another one so here you can see that rm another resource monitor credit quota is again the uh, one euro and then monitor level is account so now one i have shown you with the code is the warehouse level one i am going to create is account level so maybe i can say rm account source monitor source monitor account and then i will say like on 60 percent i will keep the same suspend and notify at 60 or maybe notify at 60 suspend and notify at 70 and suspend immediately at 75 percent okay and i'm going to show you what the code look like so if you go here you will see that i quota is like this on 70% do suspend, 75% do suspend immediately and 60% notify. And then I am putting the alter account resource monitor like this. Okay. So I am going to create this. And you will see that I have created another resource monitor. Now what I am going to do, I am going back to my worksheet. And now I am going to create a Cartesian product query which I am going to execute with the user over here. So I am connected with the resource monitor and I am switching my role to RM admin. Right, so this is the user which I was using. And uh, let me quickly select the warehouse. So let me change my role. And then quickly select my uh, warehouse. And I am going to use this uh, sample database so basically this database comes with uh, all the snowflake account and uh, i'm just going to use the cartesian product which is the uh, wrong one and it is going to create use the warehouse exhaustively and uh, raise the notification so you have to just uh, see that at the moment i only have the valid email let me delete this a new snowflake that my account has been raised successfully okay 
so now if I go here and if I start executing this cancel sorry let me execute this and we will see quickly that uh, now it's being executing and we will see that in some time okay we go also got notification at 68.44 percent of its monthly quota of the one credit which was taken as notification so you can see that i already get two notification here and i believe i wrongly deleted this one uh, if i go here on the deleted I might have got the mails over here as well. So if I go and trash, okay. So I also got the mail over here. But let's see again. So it's one more important point over here is like uh, you get notification, you get the mail, but it's not always true that you will get the notification immediately the moment you touch the threshold mark. So maybe uh, if you get the notification on 60%. Uh, that means that you will get the notification, but it's not true that you will get immediately on 60%. It might take a while, a couple of seconds uh, difference, but by that time you might uh, cross your limitation of uh, one credit quota. So it's always uh, good to uh, put your threshold away before then actually you are expecting to be uh, triggered so that you don't. Uh, overuse your credit quota so now you can see that it's running for quite some time one minute two nine seconds hopefully it has been used the credit quota but the mo because it this table uh, takes some time to populate the details so unless you see the data in this table the trigger will not get notified so that's one of the thing so let's see how it goes So here it's also taking some time to sorry I don't have to execute this one my mistake I have to just execute the show resource monitor over here so now you can see that uh, still the table is not updated and that is the reason we didn't receive the notification till the now till the moment yeah. so we'll get in some time so we'll get some information till in some moment let's wait for some some time So hopefully we okay let's go and see what is the warehouse current status okay show warehouses so we can see till now we have only one cluster running so for this large warehouse we still have only one warehouse uh, one cluster is running so no. Although we have um, configured it for the mass cluster too, but still it's, there is only one cluster which is running. And it's almost 3 minutes 7 seconds has been running. Let me pause this. Let me pause this for some time. So now user it's almost 4 plus more than 5 minutes. So it's almost 6 minutes. So I am going to abort this query because this query is not going to uh, complete. So fully the moment I cancel it will reflect uh, as soon as possible in this. So let's see. So it, it takes some time. So the moment we will see the data reflected here we will see the notification. So that was the thing which I was explaining in the beginning that uh, you will not see the reflection and immediate. So you should not take resource monitor as a tool to control the uh, warehouse. Uh, or it's like it, it's not an immediate impact because it runs on metadata and metadata uh, population takes some time on the uh, in the account so it's a bit uh, lag there is a bit of lag as you can see that i have already cancelled the query which ran for more than six minutes with an extra with a large warehouse still the data is not populated in the resource monitor uh, function metadata table and that is the reason we don't see the notification till now so i will just keep a pause uh, again and uh, we'll wait for some more time and see when the notification comes now friends you can see that uh, i re-ran the exec uh, this uh, cartesian product uh, sql statement again 
so that we will get some uh, message uh, how the resource monitor about the warehouse while it is running so you can see that when i re ran it ran for 15 50.477 seven, seven seconds and at the moment uh, the data was also getting uh, passed to the metadata table and uh, it triggered the resource monitor and uh, it stopped the warehouse which was running so basically it triggered the suspend immediate because it reached to the desired threshold which we have decided so you can see the message the warehouse uh, warehouse name was suspended immediately because by the resource monitor this statement about it and what we have decided is like at what level we have created the resource monitor so if we reach to the 75 percent of the uh, warehouse i mean like 75 percent of the credit quota it will suspend immediate and that was the reason because it was already if you see here it is already reaching to the beyond 100 percent and that that took a while to reflect but the moment it reflect it stopped the warehouse for running and you can see this is the message you will get and uh, if i go here and show you the resource monitor is already there but then let me just run it again and you can see here that uh, the quota was one euro uh, one credit and we have already used that for 2.15 credit so we are already on the negative account the similar for the resource monitor at account level the quota was one credit we have already used 1.47 which we are already on the negative of the 0.47 and that is the reason we get the notification so this is the admin account and you can see the we got the notification on the notification bar you can see that we have reached 201 percent or something like that so these are the message based on the quota i mean it's like what what is the credit quota decided and what you have used so basically that's a percentage it will give you and uh, similarly uh, on the non-user admin so basically this is my non-user admin account and here i got the email as well that dear service account whatever user was for the non-admin account you have reached the notification and so and so message and what was the trigger point basically it's a suspend limited because we reach more than 75 percent and similarly I, I would have got the notification on my admin email id so this was the small uh, demo uh, which i wanted to show you like how you can create the resource monitor at the account level as well as warehouse level and uh, what the notification looks like on the admin side as well as on the non-admin user and how the email notification looks like how that notification uh, bar looks like and what was the means like how much delay so you can see that it's almost more than five to seven minutes it takes from around five to seven minutes to get the notification replicated into the resource monitor to trigger so it's not immediate so if you have a limit uh, please decide your limit based on your uh, lag that uh, it will not reflect immediately so you should not run overrun your budget yep that's all about the demo and hope you have liked the demo and if you like the demo please subscribe and like my channel thank you